Okay, we are live. I'm here Sunday, December 31st, 2023. It's going well, I guess. Um, I just figured out <laughs> that my dog doesn't care about me. She cares, but she doesn't, you know. Um, I've been trying to sleep in for the whole week. And this damn dog, seven, I guess past two days 7 30 she gets at me just taps on my bed wants to go outside and all that good stuff it's too much <laughs> but she does not give a shit about me she don't care if i sleep in she don't care if i'm under the weather she is ready to play so most things are right and i am actually under under the weather as they say i did some business stuff Wednesday? Thursday? I think it was Thursday. I talked to three different groups of people. Not a lot of people, but enough to start to feel a little tango. And I knew something was there. Kind of slipped it off. It was okay on Friday. And then they kind of came through on Saturday. And it's been kind of crampy. I'll tell you the truth, but I'm hoping to not use any medicine. That's my goal. Hey, so I think I have a couple things to talk about. I'll check my Google spreadsheet and all that good stuff. Believe it or not, I actually do have things to talk about from time to time. Um, but lately, you know, I've just been really going off the cuff and it's been really going well with that. And I've been liking the process. But today, let's look at it right now. Now, let's go to creation, podcast, create database. Let's see where we're at. Number 34 says, one of many goals, projects for 2024, coffee, drink, recipe book, and other stuff too. Let's let's get into it. Let's first talk about oh, this right here. This is part of the journey. Uh, I got some work to do on this one. I bought a coffee. Um about a month ago. And I actually roasted it for a couple of weeks ago, three weeks, three and plus weeks ago. And yeah. And all that good stuff. And I just let it sit, degas, do whatever. I really, I was excited to try it. But uh, I wanted to wait to the end of the year, the last day of the year, to talk about it. Let me explain what I'm doing with this coffee in particular. This is a Kenyan coffee. I think it's double washed. Do have some more information about it, but I don't think that matters as much. <clears throat> the biggest thing really is what can what kind of journey can we go on with this coffee when I did my roast right it was uh, 60 no 70 out of bean and then 66 inner bean so re roasted relatively well you know which is cool and it doesn't taste that way. It tastes very green. Tastes like a typical African coffee. Yeah, it's been such a long time. I roasted this on my my small roaster. It's about 300 gram capacity. I really do love that roaster. The other one's pretty good too, but that one was just my baby. I may move it actually. We'll see if it makes sense. Yeah. But yeah. It's uh, it's pretty cool. 
it's nice it's cool it turns on and does the thing that it needs to do and all that jazz but but yeah so i roasted that coffee a couple of weeks ago and the reason why that's important i guess to speak is because this is the coffee we're going to go on a journey with you know i'm going to do some videos some uh I think I want to incorporate it with season one now that I'm thinking. I'm making a mini project. I'm not too sure. I want to, I need to separate it somehow. And I don't think I'm ready to go on to like season two and all that stuff. We shall see. Um, uh, but yeah, we'll figure it out. But right now I went ahead and uh, brewed it. I brewed it on a V60, my favorite dripper, which I'll talk about more in the new year. Um, I kept the bed shallow. I didn't want it to go too crazy. I wanted to get the full extraction of the coffee. Didn't uh, stir it. I don't stir anymore. It's been years since I've stirred the coffee. Roasted it. I mean, brewed it at 205, 203. It kind of came down and all that good stuff. Um, What else did I do? Uh, I don't know what else I did. I just, I'm drinking it now. <laughs> it's been such a long time since I've actually, uh, but it's interesting. It's one of those things where I'm like, well, I don't know. It's very green, a very green coffee. I don't know what to make of it. I think since it's been such a long time already, I may do espresso later today just to see what it actually is or does or whatnot. But this was a coffee that's not going to be actually on the website. Um, but I'm going to go through a lot of different journeys, going to roast it different ways, brew it different ways, kind of get an idea of what's going on with this coffee in particular. And, and really just taking you on a journey because I don't think a lot of people do this really. A lot of times when you see a finished product or something on a website, it's done. You don't see the journey that that roaster probably went on. You know, yeah, they do have like origin stories and all that stuff, but it's a little different, you know, I don't have time for that. I'm not doing that. And I don't think that's in my future to do an origin story like that. But who knows? <clears throat> so no cupping this coffee and just drinking it don't cup we'll talk about that more next year too oh, oh oh my god this tastes very very vegetable I should actually do that I'm gonna do that too let me uh, pull some back I want to do a uh See my extraction. See where the extraction is at. Not any of that lately. The biggest good idea that I do have to mark here. I'm getting my ball. I'm going to geek out for you. But this is some of the stuff that I'm actually going to be doing when I uh, go about the coffee journey and all that good stuff with you. Um, Maybe on the verge of a very the coffee could be on a verge of a what's the best way to say this under extracted it could be just sour but i did a 1 to 15 ratio 20 24 grams in 350 grams of coffee that's a lot of coffee for me actually i don't drink that much i drink one Two cups probably on the weekend. But it was just the nature of this coffee. It smells amazing. Whole beans, ground, it doesn't matter. It smells damn amazing. You're not going to fault a Kenyan coffee for that. But something about this coffee is not sitting right with me. But I will do espresso later today since it has been a couple of weeks 
so the coffee has been chilled and all that good stuff but i know i'm all over the place one of the things i did want to talk about um we will talk about amazon again <laughs> is there's a lot of things that i want to do i will do and just this whole week has just been a big clusterfuck of workflow and workflow has been something that I've been trying to nail down, iron out, you know, because I want things to be systematic, me being a trained engineer and all that in practice. But the biggest thing is really just to understand more about how I'm going about things and if it makes sense. See, it took a long time for me to actually create a system for the podcast. For the podcast, it was more so just get it done. Just start, you know, push record, right? And and that's how this situation is. And it's been really lovely. It's been really lovely to just push record and keep it moving. But I've always had a, an idea or a situation to where like this needs to make sense because I can record all I want. But if I'm not actually like broadcasting it, getting it out to people, you know, then what's the point? Because that's part of it too, right? I am what they call a self-motivated person. So I don't need any like real help or push to, to keep going. But it is one of those things to where I am trying to understand more or so of what I'm trying to do. And I want it to make sense in the whole system of what I'm trying to do with coffee in general. Um, I did talk to myself or, or think about a couple of things. I'm going to be more so like the antichrist of the specialty coffee world. If that makes sense. I may just write that down and, and go with a topic eventually. But I, I what I'm getting at is that it's... It's very important that I do have a workflow, a system of getting things done. And with podcasting, it's been working out really well. You know, if you were to know the actual site for the, uh, for the, for the, where I house all my, uh, podcasts, that's up to date. I think I'm about three or four. And after this one, I'll be four down to where I need to get them on the website on the uh, Everyday Beans website, but I do have a couple of more topics I have. Videos, I have blogs, which I've been slowly kind of getting at, and I have coffee drinks eventually. I think I'll probably do one to two coffee drinks a month, something like that, but it's been going really, so you know, nothing, nothing is out of the ordinary, meaning that Everything is important. Everything happens. And I'm just there to kind of get better at the situation. Meaning that I was frustrated with my GoPro, which will be sold <laughs> more so today. I put it on eBay yesterday. And it messed up the workflow quite a bit to where I record. And then I go to the website, try to upload my videos. And they would just get a little spammy and kind of weird. And and I thought about it. I said, no, I'll keep it. I'll play around with it. I'll work with it. But it got to the point where it was just too frustrating. It shouldn't be this hard in order to just record. And the video quality was fine. But something about the workflow and, and the inefficiency of it didn't really gel with me. So, it well, so I uh, said, fuck it, you know, I really did. I said, forget it. You know, I just said what I said, but, you know, and yeah, so. Hmm. So, yeah, I. I, I made the decision to get rid of it, find a more dependable situation or solution to where I could just literally just push record, get recorded, and 
and go from there, you know? And I think that's one of the biggest things that I'm looking forward to really is just to be able to record, edit where I need to, and then keep it moving, you know? And that's how I can get things out there. And I do like the fact that the camera or situation or system that I'm looking for is upgradable, is compatible, and it's going to get me on my way relatively quickly. And I'm looking forward to understanding that even more so. And yeah, so, so yeah, so I'm trying to get better at workflow on systems, setting things up, because if it's not set up in a way, I know this is boring shit, but uh, if it's not set up in a way, then I'm not going to do it. And that doesn't help anybody else out or I will do it, but it's, you won't, you won't be able to see it, to appreciate it, to get information from, to really grab onto. So, so that was more so this week. And as much as frustr as frustrating it has been, it it has also been a good eye opener on things, on um, things to work on, and and just to understand what's what was really going on. So yeah, so yeah, that's what we got going. One man show for the most part. There are some things that are happening, and yeah, so we'll see how that works out. But for right now, things are looking really well. I went ahead and um, went to the warehouse, checked it out more, put some things there, set it in place, and it's looking really good. Even got some idea of uh, doing some distribution, as my brother would say, on my own to mix it in with Amazon and also fulfillment by myself. I'm still worried about the... Uh, I'm still worried about the... Uh, the cost with shipping, I think it's more so about the same. If I was really looking at it and I update my profit and cost and loss, uh, 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 worksheet and all that. But yeah, so that's more so what's going on with that. But it was, it's been good, you know, no real complaints. Hmm. It's coffee, man. It needs some work. It really does. It's cooled down to considerably quite a bit. And it it still tastes like a bunch of unripe vegetables. That you don't even saute or anything to kind of decrease the amount of acidity and, and nastiness of those vegetables that are not ready. You know, here we go. We're doing the analysis 1.5. Let's see. I think that's right on the dot. Oh, oh, that's this is how it tastes. 20% extraction, 1.5. Oh, uh, TDS. It is. Oh, my God. So how will I do this coffee? This is at a 70, 66. I wonder if I can actually roast it lighter and get it even sweeter. I think that's probably part of it. But this one has to be roasted a little darker, slow it down even more so. I don't know with this one. This one's kind of crazy. And I'm no for sure if I get the, uh, um, it being a dark roast, it's not going to have a problem whatsoever, you know? Mm. It's very vegetable. God damn. Ah. I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing or whatnot. Mm. I don't know what this one. This one's kind of weird. Oh, my God. Not in a good way. Not in a good way. Oh, my God. We'll see what happens with this one. This is going to be interesting. Uh, all the raw emotions that I'm giving to you right now, I'm going to give it back to it. I'm going to keep this coffee honest. 
I'm going to keep myself honest and the trail, the uh, burnt journey that we go on will be kind of interesting, I guess. So I'm all over the place. So let's talk about 2024. I started this podcast, not on a whim, but more so on a idea to, to get going, to do things right. And, and I've done that and I've succeeded, you know, no, I'm not saying this thing, this podcast is world-class or anything. I don't even sounds and sound effects and all that stuff. That's helps things flow a lot better, but I may get to that, but I started it and and it's a habit. I do this twice a week and sometimes I'm even trying to do it more or so from time to time. I think with the gear that I'm that I'm embarking on right now is going to allow me to do that, you know. But um but now that things are more materializing and and getting to a point or place where where I have been building up steam, I need to do more. You know, it's weird saying that. Not really weird, but you, you understand what I'm talking about. But now that it's more systematized, I can actually do more because I have a system and I worked out the kinks and I got a good efficiency going on that. You know, so in order for me to do a lot more, of course, I have to put things on my list but I have to like actually go into that realm of of doing and then being frustrated and then getting better. And then that's how I can continue to do more. So I have a couple things on the website. And the reason why the website is what it is, it's gonna change. It's gonna get better. Is that uh, I wanna be able to create a digital coffee shop for you you know most of it is about coffee of course but i want to give you a reason to stay to explore to have fun and to even ask questions you know i'm not a i'm not yes i am i'm no more coffee no about coffee more than most people that drink coffee sure but i think it's a place to where we all can learn together and i can learn from you the way you do things and all that but my biggest thing right now is is to be able to have a place to where you can at least get there you know so podcast that's one and then the other one is uh youtube videos videos in general to kind of give you a more in-depth look of what i do how i do it so i'm like developing working on my studio right now i have a couple of things that i do need to put up So that's going to happen relatively soon in the next couple of weeks. You know, as I get more gear, (laughs) it will help me understand what's going on. Um, Right more on my whiteboard. So videos of whatever, what I'm thinking about, coffee, how we can explore, how this makes sense and all that. And again, I don't know really where all of this goes, but I need to do it, right? And then the other thing is uh, blogging, writing, and all that stuff. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring back my book. I wrote a book years ago. It's kind of about coffee, kind of about life, you know, all that good stuff. Um, I am. I want to change the cover art. The cover art is kind of crap. I may have to go to Fiverr for it to be changed some way somehow you know so um yeah so i'm gonna change the cover art revive that and offer it as like a free download kind of see where that goes and then i do i will do a coffee drink recipe book and but that's going to be on a website but i'm also going to be doing some video of course of that some blogging about different recipes, asking people about their recipes, trying them out, of course, giving them credit and all that stuff. And, uh, boom. so that's another thing. And then, um, 
we'll see where else it goes on. And then, of course, the coffee recipe book is going to be something that I print out. It's going to be more so like something I do throughout the year, you know? So, so yeah, so I'm looking forward to that, to understanding what's that going to be, what that's going to be entailed. And then also simplifying my coffee offerings. Right now, I still have quite a bit on there. And I'm going to strip it down there to put more back on there, if that makes sense. And then streamline it. And of course, Amazon's going to be a big part of this. Amazon, I'll be on my Amazon store, posting on there, probably taking a couple of things that I do talk about and uh, utilizing AI to an extent on, I do that for some of my, uh, as you can see, probably in my uh, cover art, it's a lot easier just to tell Dolly, like, hey, create something. Sometimes it doesn't mean something. Sometimes it doesn't. It doesn't really matter right now, but it gets things moving and going right. So that's where I'm at right now. That's a lot of things cooking, right? And a lot of things that I have to get a handle on first with myself. So when and ever, whenever I bring somebody on board, you know, it will make sense for them to easily put them in the situation and to give them a task, a job to do. And then it'll be more so streamlined in a way that I would like it to be. And even if they learn something new, so to speak, it's, uh, it's cool because I may take that and, and throw it out and do things and all that good stuff to actually understand what's going on to make it even better. So yeah, so that's what I got going. I need to update my to-do list and Amazon. Amazon still been getting me right now, but I'm actually in a waiting process. I'm actually may revive them to let them know. It's like, Hey, what's the decision on this? I need to, if there's anything extra that you need, let me know so I can give it to you because I need to, I need this. <laughs> it's very important. You know, that's what people use and, and even making a couple of bucks per unit is extremely imperative and important for the brand and the movement moving forward because Amazon is just a start. It really is just a start. There's so many other things that I will do with this that I can do with this that I'm looking forward to. And uh, yeah, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to the destiny, the journey, what, whatever, the journey. Not so much the destiny. I, the destiny is actually, hmm, let's talk about that. The destiny is, I would say a question mark. I kind of know where it's going. You know, it's kind of obvious if it makes sense for me to know what the destiny looks like, right? <clears throat> like the end game so to speak, but it, it is a question mark. It really is, you know, that's interesting. I don't actually have a destiny, a concrete place of where all this will go. And that may be scary for you, especially if you decide to want to buy coffee from me and, and listen to me ramble and talk and, and give you tips and tricks that may help you out throughout your life, you know, but the destiny, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Interesting. I stooped myself, got myself. Hmm. Destiny. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. I, as long as I have an idea of what the destiny may look like, that's fine because the journey will actually move it, groove it, expand it, you know, more so get me to the point of probably altering that path a little bit depending on what the journey brings out you know if that makes any sense 
but there's no real direction. That's I think that's where I'm getting at. There's no real direction in what I'm trying to do. There's a lot of cooking. There's a lot of parts moving at the same time. And I'm seeing what will work, what makes sense, right? And that's where I'm at right now, which is cool. And yeah, interesting stuff. Wow. (laughs) Interesting stuff. So yeah. Let me get out of here. Let me go get out of here and walk the dog. Let things kind of materialize a little bit more in my head. And then we'll go from there, you know. But it's been great. It's been a great end of 2023 with a, for the most part. It's a brutal year for a lot of people, you know. It felt like my 2028, 2018 year. But it's been a hard year for a lot of people. And let's see what we can do in 2024. I'm looking to the unmarked destiny, (laughs) but really enjoying the journey as we go about this stuff. And yeah, wow. Trust me, think about this. I, when I started, I will struggle to get 10 minutes. And even having a topic or not topic, this one's pretty long. This one's pretty long. I don't know who would listen to 33 minutes of me just talking about uh, undisclosed marked destiny right <laughs> and a lot of shit going around with, with with what I'm trying to say right now you know I'll try not to curse as much but I guess that's what I'm at right now and uh yeah I'm at 33 minutes right now that's pretty cool right I guess <laughs> we shall see but other than that, that's what we got going. We're going to keep it pushing, keep motivating, keep motivating ourselves and others. And I'm looking forward to more what can be done. And I hope that you can get something from this. Oh, this coffee got a lot of work. Oh, wow. It's going to be a lot of work to get done on this coffee.